look at now how to import a PDF. And the great thing about importing PDFs, if it's a vector-based PDF, we can turn it from a single figure into vector lines once again. So I'm going to find in my finder a PDF. I'm going to make sure it's the right file name, just so I'm importing the right one. Design lots. Okay, here we go. I'm going to drag and drop this into Archicad because that's the simplest, most user-friendly way of doing this. Now I've brought this PDF into Archicad. This is a, a single figure. This is a, a plan, a site plan, or a location plan, a survey plan. And if we zoom in, how we tell if it's a vector is I can zoom in really, really far. And if it doesn't pixelate, it probably means it's a vector-based drawing rather than a pixel-based drawing, a JPEG or a bitmap. Now, if it's a vector-based drawing, what that allows us to do is to turn it into lines, which means rather than trying to trace this, and it's very hard to get that perfectly right, for instance, looks right here, but if I zoom in, we see, mm, uh, no, I'm wrong. So how do I do this properly? The first thing I need to do is make sure it's imported to scale. Sometimes they will import to scale, and that depends on how the PDF was made in the first place. If not, however, we want to resize it. To resize a view, a drawing, anything for that matter, what we do is we select it, edit, reshape, resize. We can also see that this is, in terms of a keyboard command, command K or Apple K. Now when I resize, I want to use the define graphically, so I'm going to leave all of these ticked. And let's say I'm only using one of these lots. Let's say I'm using this lot called 4114. I'm going to choose the longest line to use as my reference line to ensure that it's as accurate as possible. Now while I'm doing this as a PDF, it's not very accurate because I'm just guessing. So I can never completely find where that line is. Therefore I can never be completely sure because I can't click on it if it's accurate. So rather than resizing right now, what I'm going to do instead is explode this drawing. I'm going to select it, right click, explode. Now I could change these settings, I don't really care at the moment, so I'm just going to press OK. And what that's going to do is going to turn this PDF back into vector lines. So now we see that it's made up of lots and lots of lines. What it's also done is it's kept for me the PDF at the back because sometimes we might lose information. If we zoom in, we see that unfortunately it didn't know what to do with this site area and so it's given me something really silly, not very fortunate in this case. So it's useful that I've still got my original PDF. So what I'm going to do is select all of this. Now I'm going to go edit just going to check that it's suspended, yep, edit, reshape, resize, again define graphically, I'm going to zoom in, and now because it is line drawing, that, mean I can actually, that means I can actually click on this point and know that I'm doing it exactly. So the next thing I'm going to do is define the existing ratio or define the existing dimension. I'm going to click on that length and I know that that length is supposed to be to 28,900 millimeters, but it's actually 5,787. So it's wrong at the moment, which means I now need to resize it to make it right. If I zoom out and move my mouse, you see that I'm resizing graphically, like I said I wanted to, but that's not really helpful because I need to be precise. So what I'm going to do is essentially type in the value that I want, D, and I'm going to type in 28900 because I always have to do it in millimetres, remember, not metres. And there we go. This will resize. Now I have imported and resized a PDF to scale into my drawing. And now I can use this as a template or as a basis for any other drawing that I do. The best way to do this, of course, would be to have multiple stories and then use the existing drawing on the existing story as a trace reference and the beautiful thing about a trace reference is we can see it and click on it if I wanted to 
that was terrible. If I wanted to click on it and redraw this line, not that I'd need to, but why not? I can click on it, I can use it as a reference, but I can't actually edit it when it's on a different story. So it's really useful for a tracing and because it's a different colour, it helps to identify what we're drawing and what's in the background.